Hello. I know this is really long. And I haven't trimmed it yet. This is a wig. And it was sent to me by a company called Wigs Me, I think it is. I'll have a link on here. And I just was trying it on, and it's too long. It seems like it looks longer than what I ordered, I don't know. But I just wanted you to see the length it does come when you get it. And I didn't know what to do with the back, so I just pinned it up. There's this, I guess you call it kind of a wafing or whatever, that you just cut it off. And I still got a piece of it on there. I did not glue this wig on on the forehead how they usually do. I didn't do that. Uh, I don't need to. They, I sent them the measurements of my wee little head. <laughs> my head is small and um, it fits nice and tight and then there's a wig band that comes with it just like a headband and that kind of grips your hair so my hair my hair is pulled back and it's in a ponytail underneath this so but look how they have the roots dark and you know I have to play with this till it gets more natural looking but see that really does look natural. Now, I took the curling iron. This is human hair. So I took the curling iron and just barely curled these a little bit because my hair is natural curly. And I just don't seem right when I have straight hair. Because now, I don't know where I'm going to cut these at. Maybe about there, huh? Maybe I just do it gradual. Maybe about this. Hmm. Oh, I could even do a little bit of a bang. I don't know if I'll do that. <laughs> but it does look natural. But, you know, I'm, I'm 81 years old, so um, I wouldn't be wearing my hair probably this long. <laughs> There's a 10% off link for this too. So when you first get them, it just doesn't feel right or look right. And you have to play with them a little bit. You also need to Probably, like with me, I'm going to have it cut. I might go do it myself. Probably will do it myself. Because I was a hairstylist at one time. Not for very long, but I was. Okay. I promised them that I would do this if they sent me the wig. But and it is pretty neat, isn't it, with a color? And it just, it does look so real. Look at that. Oh, yeah, what if I twisted it, huh? Put it up like this. I don't know. I have to play with it. But, ladies, if your hair is really thin and it's like running your life, or if your hairline's receding real bad, This is not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. So, I just got to decide how I'm going to cut it. Tell me what you think about cutting it. Um, like I said, I'll put a link on there. I'm getting ready to go out and we're going to paint some furniture today. But I thought I'd plop this little wig on and.
play around with it. All right. Make some comments in here so I'll know what you think. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, so I'm stepping outside so you can see how it looks in the daylight. And I would say it really looks natural. Oh, I gotta cut these off straight. <laughs> Here I am walking around the house fussing with this. <laughs> Mr. Bill hasn't seen this wig yet, and I don't know what he's expecting. You know, it's just with any wig. And I've had some wigs and toppers I had wore before because when I went to the COVID, I lost so much hair. But I haven't worn them for a long time. So. Just keep playing around, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> this is the box that uh, the wig will come in. Actually, I've already opened this, but because I got excited, <laughs> but it will come like this, so I had to put it back on again. It comes in a silky looking little bag beautiful box and these tags I cut off the wig but they were on there it comes with a wig grip that you wear around your head like a headband to keep it secure and a thank you note. This is the top of the wig. It has the darker roots. <laughs> Nelly, Nelly. <laughs>